नाउ स्टूडेंट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर 6.10 एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन टू यू अ जेट प्लेन इज ट्रैवलिंग टुवर्ड्स वेस्ट एट अ स्पीड ऑफ 1800 किलोमीटर पर आवर क्लियर सो फर्स्ट लेट फर्स्ट लेट्स ड्रॉ हियर अ जेट प्लेन सो दैट वी गेट क्लैरिटी मोर ऑफ द कांसेप्ट क्लियर सो नाउ कंसंट्रेट लेट्स सपोज दिस इज वन नेक वी कैन से दिस इज अनदर वन लेट्स सपोज दिस इज लाइक दिस दिस वन क्लियर now this is one and i can see it is just like this clear here we have this one clear and this one clear from here we can see this is the wings of this uh, we can see that is plane here we are having just a minute yes so this one clear and uh we can see it is just like this clear and here we have another spawn so this one and this one and i can see something like this clear so let's suppose this is a plane clear let's suppose this is plane definitely this side again we have this one clear so now let's suppose this is plane in this question it is given this jet plane is traveling towards west so i am definitely we know in this direction we have east this is west so it is actually going in this direction clear velocity is given to you 1800 km per hour so we can convert into meter per second and we can say this is 500 meter per second clear 500 meter per second okay fine now a jet plane is traveling towards west at a speed of 500 meter per second what is voltage difference between ends of a wings having a span of 25 meter so from here you can see if i draw here a uh, total span it means length of this wings this is given to 25 meter clear now you can see here velocity is perpendicular to this length clear to you now one more thing is given here uh, the earth magnetic field at a location has a magnitude of 5 into 10 to the power minus 4 tesla clear so let's suppose if i draw here a uh, magnetic field so let's suppose earth magnetic field is like this clear because dip angle is also given to you so definitely we have north in this direction this one is south so definitely net magnetic field uh, we can say horizontal component we will find in this direction and we will find a vertical component in this direction clear so this is component of horizontal this is vertical component clear and we can say this is angle of dip clear now you can see this horizontal component is parallel to this length it means this will not responsible for for induce emf now but you can see this vertical component of earth magnetic field in the downward direction here we have this is l and this one is v so i can say vertical component of magnetic field length and velocity all are perpendicular to each other clear so from here we can see uh, from here we can see uh, value of e clear value of e this is given by bv and i can say this is v and multiplied with l clear so from here we can say e value of bv bv means we can say vertical component vertical component we can say this is b sin of del yes or no clear and what about v v v is given to you 500 and multiplied with length that is 25 clear so value of b value of b it is given in a question 5 into 10 to the power minus 4 multiply i can say sin and what about del angle of dip 30 degree clear 30 multiply 500 multiply 25 clear so from here we can write like this this is equal to 5 into 10 to the power minus 4 into 1 by 2 into 25 into 500 clear so from here we can see this is 125 into uh we can see 5 into 10 to the power minus 2 divide by 2 clear yes or no we can say 5 multiply 10 to the power minus 2 25 uh, and multiply 5 125 divide by 2 so from here we can say this is 625 divide by 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 clear so from here can we find value of e yes now you can divide here 3 1 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 or you can say this is equal to 3.125 volt clear so i can say this is induced emf that is developed uh in the wings of this aeroplane clear to you so this is all about this question